love my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Food. Since my early 20s, my curiosity for a different cuisine took me on a delicious journey. After a few decades, here I am sharing my passion with you. Indian food is so flavorful and so far I posted a few recipes including butter chicken, lamb kima, tandoori chicken and others. Now here's another one. In today's episode I'll show you how to make my pork vendali. If you like spicy fiery fruits then this is perfect for you, although you can always tame it down. <laughs> With a beautiful marinade and great ingredients, this easy dish is so tasty. I'm sure it will become a favorite on your menu. So my friends, let's get cooking. First things first, let's make the marinade. In a mixing bowl, we'll add red wine vinegar minced ginger, pressed garlic and lots of it, followed by mild paprika, some brown sugar, ground cumin, mmm I love that spice, then ground coriander, ground turmeric which has great health benefits, ground cardamom as well as ground cloves and freshly ground black pepper. We'll whisk the ingredients until very well blended. Now here's our pork shoulder that we trimmed and cubed into half an inch pieces and pour the marinade over. We'll stir, making sure the meat is nicely coated, cover and transfer to the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. The next day we're ready to cook. In a Dutch oven over medium-high heat, we'll add oil such as canola or safflower. And when it gets hot, working in batches, we'll add our marinated pork pieces, reserving the marinade for later. We'll saute them for about three and a half to four minutes before transferring the pieces to a bowl using a slotted spoon. We'll set aside while working with the remaining pork. When the meat is done, we'll reduce the heat to medium and add chopped onions. We'll saute them for 2 minutes. If there are any brown bits at the bottom of the pot, we'll scrape them off. To this, we'll add red peppers and also a few bird's eye chili peppers, although Kashmiri is the proper pepper used for this recipe. I was too lazy to shop around. <laughs> If you prefer spicier or milder, adjust accordingly. Now for moderately spicy, remove the seeds and ribs. We'll saute them for 2 minutes as well. Next we'll add minced ginger and pressed garlic. Like we always do, we'll quickly saute them for only 1 minute. Then we'll add a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. Guys, I have a great tip to salvage the rest of the can, so check it out by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. And we'll stir until the ingredients are coated before returning the meat, including any accumulated juices, along with the reserved marinade. It's not traditional, but it gives a nice flavor, and it's a can of diced tomatoes. We'll mix well. Then add more ingredients like low sodium chicken broth, dry red wine, yeah I know that's the French in me, and brown sugar. Of course, we'll stir once again until everything is well combined, increase the heat and bring the mixture to a light boil. Then we'll reduce the heat and let it simmer gently for 45 minutes stirring occasionally. And my friends, this is our pork vindaloo. Easy to make 
This recipe is a delicious one to add to your folder. You can make it as spicy or mild as you like. Sprinkled with cilantro and served with naan bread and basmati rice, it's a tasty dish everyone will enjoy. I hope you get a try soon and be sure to visit kafudi.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends. Bon appétit. Thank <laughs> you.